Once upon a time, there was a land named Aspira, which was ruled by the five kings. It was a time of peace. Bernard was a simple miner and a villager of the Dark Forest. He was raised by the king because his parents died from a dragon attack which was caused by the king. Elena, the daughter of the king, was raised with him. And over that time, Bernard fell in love with her. On a beautiful day, Bernard told Elena that he fell in love with her. She was happy about it. She told him that she had the same feelings for him. The time passed, and two months later, Bernard was invited by the king of the Greenlands. The king offered him the chance to raise an own kingdom for him and Elena. Bernard got everything he needed from the king to start his journey. Equipment and a handful of men, but no idea where to start. At that moment, a strange person showed up. The stranger introduced herself as a resident from the Vulcan lands. Her name was Callus. Callus promised that Bernard can settle down in the far lands where rare metals are present, enough to raise an own great kingdom. Bernard and a handful of men started to investigate the volcanic land on the search for the rare metals and the place to settle down. After five long months and a long search, there was nothing but burned land. Bernard received a letter telling him that Elena had fallen in love with the king of the green lands and that they were about to marry. He was completely devastated. He came back and saw that the information was true. He told the king that he would find a way to take revenge for this betrayal. After that event and being banned from the kingdoms, Bernard searched for Callus. She told him that she was betrayed too because the king promised her to be part of the rulership if she sent Bernard away. Bernard then asked for her help. In exchange for rulership of the Greenlands, Callus offered to give him enough power to take revenge. Bernard agreed and Callus turned him into a tremendous monster. Not knowing what dangerous mistake Callus had done, Bernard began to destroy the villages on the whole continent so that the kings have nothing to rule of. Callus realized her mistake. Bernard was too strong to stop him. She decided to race the castle into the sky to form a safe place for her. To calm him down and prevent Bernard from ruining everything and killing everyone, she decided to turn every human into stone. Bernard saw what Callus did. Elena was nothing but stone. In his rage, he summoned dark creatures from below and began to attack Callus. Callus saw no other option than to seal Bernard into the castle. She teleported him and used all her power to create a powerful barrier that would hold him back. Because of the fact that Callus used all her energy, she fell to the ground and died immediately. Right before Bernard was sealed into the castle, he divided his soul into six pieces and spread them all over the world. The parts of Bernard's soul formed huge brutal monsters. As long as Bernard is alive, all of them will reincarnate if they die because of the strong bond. Five years had passed and the world is ruled by the monsters now. But there was a light between the shadows. An old wizard named Grindul was a survivor of the events. He tried to find a way to beat the monsters and now he finally found a way. He found out that the holy tree has the power to create new life. This 
is the moment your journey begins. Well, that was a quite quite a long introduction, guys. Welcome to the channel. This is Ari Polly. Release was 2019. Dev Team's Hinkford Studios is a polygonic world survive build action adventure game. And we just saw basically the backstory in a trailer right before the main menu here. So we're we're kind of Caught up to par, I guess, I guess, with it all. Um, update your character. It says character, single player, multiplayer options. I already checked the options. We're looking good. We're in windowed full screen. Everything's running on Epic. We'll see how that performs with it all. We've got singer, single player, but we've also got character. I don't know what this is. Update my character. Okay, so we can actually update our character a little bit I'm sorry are those eyebrows or head type I see um <laughs> so go with that one hairstyle hmm boy and it, is it oh okay it keeps going um geez. I suppose I'm fine with <laughs> I'm fine with that. Beard type. Mm. Beard's a different color. Oh my. <laughs> I guess we'll go clean. I, I guess we're gonna go clean. Hair color. It's fine. Paints color. Don't. Pants color. Okay. Um. Shh. You know what? Yeah, we'll go black. I, I guess black and yellow. Black and yellow. Uh, eye color, don't care. Blue's fine. It looks like it's blue. Wait. Oh, my. Okay. How about you know a little bit of build to us? How about how about that? Go like so right in there, and uh, I guess we're done with all that so we'll save it okay guess we saved it all right so now we can go single player let's go new game of course because I haven't really want to start a new game yeah for sure all right melee attacks will fire after you release the mouse button okay Oh my, alright, so we're just right in it. So if I didn't explain, this is the demo to Ari Polly. And I uh, figured we'd just check it out, guys. It's going to be one of many that I'm going to kind of give a look to in the next coming weeks. So let's see what it has to offer. Let's see how it runs and, and all of that. I don't even know where I am. I'm just somewhere. I have a mini map. I have a map, actually. <laughs> I have a whole map. Villagers, nothing. Guild, nothing. Map, journal. No, no, no active quests yet. We have no inventory, so let's go back to map here. So, I don't know. I guess we gotta find our way out of this place wherever we are. Hello, hi. Shrine of Sephora, the Slasher. We can interact from way back here. Maybe no. Okay. Well, there's a tree spirit what that torch is a tree spirit okay and oh oh we'll see um select an animal what like right now um yeah no let's i like this one okay do i even have any mooney or yeah fox yeah i can't 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 do any of them what's the point in this right now then okay like because i can't so gonna leave i guess it is is it getting dark or seems like it's getting dark oh a sword and a stone okay whatever all these are i guess they're just Play pieces, I suppose. I 
music's not bad. I guess we're working our way out of this place, guys. I don't know. Oh, yep. To the surface. Okay, we're Greenlands. All right. And uh, why why did it light up when I did that? Uh, pulling up the map, we are right here in this little region. I I'm not sure exactly what our premise is or where we're starting in the game. I would assume somewhere in the beginning. How to play? Uh, gather resources, blueprints, crafting, finding ores, building a house. Okay, get water. All right, so it's straight up a open world craft build game is what this is okay and uh, okay well let's just we'll just check it out can I can I can't oh okay so we can gather that though and that stone I believe and that already unlocked some recipes just by doing that I think what? Oh, I can gather fern. Okay. Minimum sharp stone. Can I punch it? Can I, can I punch that? No. Oh, I can punch that. Minimum bush. I just took it out. Nice. And I got something for it. I can gather some berries here. Raspberries. And I've got a blueprint for it. Okay, excellent. And then I can, what, take the bushes out, right? Get some fiber and sticks. Alright, so I can punch. Oh, still tool. Okay, you need a stronger tool than your fists. Alright, there's uh, some type of... Where'd we even come out at? Yeah, oh, here's berries. Okay. Carrying on. I don't know which way. Ooh mountain I don't know which way I should go so can I punch this thing or do I need a stronger tool probably yeah okay there well we pick up twigs and stuff and small rocks it's a shrine shrine of fire ignite torch required okay there's a bird hello bird goodbye bird to gather these berries. Okay, pull the map up to. Okay, so I'm on like this little. It's almost an island, honestly. There's a bridge-looking thing, maybe. So I don't know how many berries I should gather. Also, do I have uh, what's craft? Oh, that's crouch tab, maybe. And how do I cry off? Cry off. All right, handmade cloth used in crafting. Okay. I just I just crafted one. I'm gonna craft another one. Just because I don't know exactly rope, eh? And I can craft that. Okay. And what else can I craft right now? Probably just those two things because I think everything else was in red. Yeah, oh, we can make a hat. Can do that. We got enough fiber, I suppose, or, or what have you. Oh, okay, uh, we need to. Well, I have those. Don't I? Didn't I, didn't I make two of these cloth things? Okay, and then another. Okay. So now, wait, now I can't make it. Okay. Well, that's fine. Two sharp stone. I, I can't make one, right? Because I need three stone to do that. Okay. Well, let's gather stone. And uh, so I can make a sharp stone now. And 
did I make one or <laughs> I don't know if I did or not so uh, let's just explore some and see what we can discover here I can also I can run faster I forgot about that um, I have a meter down below me there's a is that a fox just want to explore the world a little bit see what it has to offer we got like a wagon thing to, oh a couple maybe it's got items in it maybe Ooh. attack to break okay oh man I can break these with my fists nice and what do we have here Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, yes, take all, yes, thank you. F also takes all, I noticed. Okay, there's one more. Can break, you can just hold down on left mouse, by the way, and you'll just continually hit them. Gonna take it, it's just wood. But I think I just unlocked a whole bunch of crafting recipes. Also, yeah, I just can't reach those. So. Oh my god, what are you? A plump little bunny. That's adorable. And then what is that over there? I think it's another bunny. Alright, we're just going to take all... Got a leather blueprint and something else. And if I pull the map up, we're just kind of circling around this little piece of land. So I'm thinking like maybe we should, it looks like there's a cross over right here. Can we, oh we can zoom in, okay. Yeah, so there's some sort of bridge right here. So if we follow this road the way we're going and then make a left, that should put us in the direction of that uh, thing. And what are you? Whoa. Whoa. No, that ain't a rock. What, what is this? Oh. Oh man, he's got a lot of health too. Uh, something tells me I don't want to mess with him, maybe, right now. Fists of Fury. Gonna take all... Got wood out of that deal. Uh, looks like nails and stone, nice. Got another wagon here. Uh oh, there we go. Well, maybe we'll start with this one. Yay. We've got something and more nails. Couldn't really tell what the other thing was. And then more wood. Let's go to tab, because I, yeah, what are these? Copper ore, whale. All right, we have copper ore. All right, that is, that's the way I came. Yes, because we need to go this way. We got another little stone ruin thing here. A fire, yep, okay, same, same thing, okay. So we're gonna keep going. So I kind of want to check this bridge out. Oh, there's two bridges. Can I, whoa, is that just to hoe us? Can I like, aw. Now if I have rope, can I catch this thing and mount it? Don't I have rope? No, I don't. Don't have rope yet. Okay. Um. Used for crafting. I think if I make these, I uh, can craft them into other things. Alright, I'm assuming that bottom yellow meter is my 
hunger, possibly. It's a cool little horse. Pretty white. Oh, hi. <laughs> Looks like leathers and wood. Uh, something here. Corn looks like a nails. Nice, yes, corn. Excellent. I didn't notice. Uh, I'm looking down. So it, it actually gives you a description in the uh, left left uh, side of the hi. Hi, are you gonna? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, you don't pursue for very long. Thank you. What are uh, you? Okay, you're another one of them. Yeah, we probably don't want to push our luck with the animals. What? It's it's full of life, for sure. I mean, you got birds, foxes, deer, horses. Neato. I kind of want to see if I can eat. And then, can I put this in? Nice. I can put this in two and. Are we. Left mouse button. Oh. I want to see if it raises that meter up. If I eat some. So far, no, maybe. You don't think so I don't I don't think it did so oh I, I see the other meters Duh, I see a water electricity kind of meter which is not my stamina bar uh, and a hunger meter so if I, I wasn't full I just filled myself up and here's the bridge that we were looking at from before oopsie daisies um, Hey, stop it. Okay, how do I switch back? Okay, that's one, and I, it's a stone. <laughs> and I don't I don't want stone. Can I, okay, I can just go bare hand by hitting an empty slot. Excellent. Okay, and this had some more wood. It looks, maybe it's not wood. See, I keep looking to the right when I should look to the left when I see an item that we pick up because it gives me an actual description what it is or tells me what it is rather than having to guess okay and that time of course it didn't so I guess it doesn't all the time alright so this brings us just back to the same island we're on we're gonna cross over and just kind of see what's over here I don't think we really have any objectives besides just surviving so and I wonder, can I just drink from the, the lake or whatever this is, river? And I don't think I'm gonna have time in this video, guys, to like craft stuff like tools and stuff. Or build a house. I guess we could try to build a house. I think we have a decent amount of resources now. Would that had nothing, really? Alright, can I drink from the water? No, I can swim. I don't know if there's anything dangerous in here to swim around. All right, well, we're on a nice flattish piece of land right here. Let's see about crafting blueprints. No, oh, guild, map, journal. Can I not build? Tools, clothing, weapon, healing, components, and that's all. Oops. So I don't. So I don't know hmm, if we can build or not. Even though it kind of said that's what we do, but maybe we. Maybe we just haven't unlocked that mechanic yet. Energy will be consuming by doing actions like running, gathering resources with tools, fighting, etc. Refill it by campfire and stand beside it, or by cooking advanced foods. 
Okay. Energy. So is the yellow bar my energy? There's a cute horse. Alright, so it seems like we could just keep exploring, but it also seems like maybe... Maybe... Right in here... This might be something. Like a town or something, but I'm not sure. So I guess what we'll do is, I don't know how much further it's just going to allow me to, I, I guess I can just roam around as I please, guys. But I uh, just wanted to give a first look at this game, show you guys a little bit of it, see what you think. And like I said, there'll be many more uh, after this one that I'll share with you as well. So we've got a little road of a journey here of different multitude of indie games to try. And uh, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, we'll see you later.